But since he was so mad and angry and fast and furious, Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Exo Kara, and I'm back with another freaking video. And you already know I'm here with another freaking story time. And this one is just like Kiki's off the dome. Didn't have time to write it down, y'all. So bear with me. But y'all already know we're not gonna make this intro long. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, we about to jump right into it. Okay, y'all. So this story time took place when I was in college. I'm not gonna tell y'all when. Just know your girl was in college. Your girl just can't be getting caught up out here, okay? So, it's this boy. We're going to name him. Let's see. What are we going to name him? We're going to name him Timmy. And then it was another boy, and we're going to name him Bobby. So, when I first, you know, was getting to know this person, I was talking to Bobby or whatever the case may be. And now, me and Bobby, we would stay going strong or whatever. We was cool. And Timmy was Bobby's friend okay y'all Timmy was Bobby's friend but I've been knew Bobby for a minute now it wasn't like we just started talking or whatever the case may be like I knew him outside of college so that's how we started you know talking whatever the case may be so I would just see Timmy around like if we'll be over there for like kickbacks and stuff like that you know we'll be like chilling smoking drinking you know just vibing playing a game or whatever the case may be so, um, a little bit after that, me and Bobby's, like, I wouldn't even, it wasn't even a relationship. Me and Bobby's little fling, it didn't last long. Like, not one bit. It, I think it lasts all of, but, like, what, like, three weeks? Like, and honestly, it was me. I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. I cut him off or whatever the case may be and I can't even remember why I could even tell y'all but nonetheless or whatever the case may be um one day I don't even know how this started I forgot but I guess Timmy hit me up or you know we was talking and chatting or whatever the case may be and he already just so happened to be inside my dorm so I'm like so he asked me like oh can you stop pants you know chill vibe Blah, blah 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 I believe my birthday just passed too so I still had alcohol in my fridge so you know the vibe the thing was we was just gonna chill vibe drink or whatever now I knew I really didn't have no business chilling on like that type of time with Timmy like yeah we chilled before but it was like with all of us like my friends Bobby and him friends like it was all of us never just like a little one-on-one -on -one. but I'm just like you know what all right whatever I'm gonna just go with so he get there, we chilling, we talking, and we actually having a good time, y'all. Like, I'm laughing, I'm giggling, you know, at this point, I'm a little drunk or whatever the case may be. So it gets to about to be like, I want to say like maybe like one or something like that, because he was like, oh, do you mind if I stay tonight? Um, my friend, something about friend got the car or something like that. Out, girl, mm, friend got, I should have known right there, but friend got the car or, or something like that and um um you know there's no other way because at this time uber really wasn't popping for real like where my school was it wasn't really uber wasn't really popping so um i'm like yeah cool fine and did or whatever i thought that he was gonna try me y'all but no he didn't try me like he slept on his little side and i slept on my little side so i'm like all right cool like bet like this is you know it's not you don't come around too many people who you know when you drunk and y'all just vibing, y'all just vibing. They not trying to, um, you know, get in your panties or whatever. So I'm like, okay, uh, you know, I felt comfortable or whatever case may be because I didn't get tried. Ciao. Anyway. All right, y'all. So he come to pick me up or whatever case may be. And then after that, I go, yeah, I go to his house. He had like roommates or whatever, you know, I come in, I speak because I was raised to always speak to somebody. Everybody speak to somebody, like everybody in the house when you walk in. So it's a habit. So I speak to everybody, whatever his may be. And then I think we going to smoke. Yeah, I think we smoked. I, did we smoke? I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure we smoked. So y'all, after that or whatever, we sitting here laying there and then that's when out of nowhere, like the stuff start happening okay like you know what i mean like you know rubbing you stuff like that like now you know kissing you kissing on you and stuff like that 
And so I'm just like not trying to give off the vibes that I'm trying to take it there. Like where I'm not trying to go there, sir. Like I'm really not trying to go there. I'm cool. I just came here to chill, drink, smoke, whatever. Go back to the go back to the dormy. Go back dip on niggas. Are you bitches how to pimp a nigga? Make them think you love them, take his money, then you dip on niggas. <laughs> Make him think you love him, take his money, then you dip on niggas. But no, for real, y'all. So, after that, whatever, it kind of, I guess he kind of got the vibes that, like, I wasn't, like, going to be so forthcoming with being all intimate and stuff like that. So, he comes out of nowhere, talk about some, you want to play a game. So, I'm like, alright, cool, like, what game is we going to play? Child, why does man want to play True for Dear? Truth or freaking dear, like how, like what grade are we in? Am, am I in fifth grade? Are we in college or are we in fifth grade? Fourth grade, sixth grade, like, mm, help me help you. So I'm just like, okay, so I'm, he like truth or dear, so I'm like truth. So he like asking me little questions or whatever, so I'm like, so I say truth or dear. And he go, of course he go deer or whatever case may be. So I make him do like little corny deers and stuff like that. So he get back to me, true for deer. So I say true for gifts. So we just doing, we just doing a little back and forth or whatever. So he was like, you can't keep choosing all these truths. Like that's not fun. Blah, 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 blah. So y'all, the minute I chose deer, this man, <laughs> this man talking about himself. <laughs> Ooh, so y'all. The minute I chose there, because I'm just like, all right, you know what, you're right, all right. So the minute I chose there, whatever, just me and talk about some. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I'm thinking of this real. As soon as I get this out, I can tell you about the real that I'm talking about. Oh my god! So as soon as I answer the, as soon as I say dear, this man goes, <laughs> I dare you to take off your shirt. <laughs> and the reason why I'm laughing, because y'all know that real, and it'd be like, <laughs> it'd be like. What's your favorite color? And he'd be like, red. He'd be like, show me your nipples. You know, he'd be like, what color your nipples? <laughs> okay, okay. What's your favorite color? Red. What's the color of your nipples? What's the color of your nipples? Because it's just like, dang, like you went from one, like you went from one to the extreme. Like, anyway, y'all. So, but I did. But the thing is, though, I had on a tank top underneath, so I really wasn't worried about it. So I just did it anyway because I knew, like, I had a tank top underneath and he was just feeling salty anyway. So after that, like, he going back and forth, whatever case may be, I didn't answer no more dears because, sir, you tried it. So of course he, going, he kept trying me and stuff like that, kept trying me, and it just wasn't going nowhere. So eventually we just sat in silence. And when I say in silence, y'all, like, you did ask to hear, like, a penny drop. Like, we was sitting in silence for like about a good, I want to say like 10 minutes at this point. So after like the 10 minutes go past or whatever, like I try to like make conversation because at this point it's like real awkward and I don't like that. So he, we make conversation and then he continues to try me again. So like once, I guess once he realized that this final time, like it wasn't going nowhere. When I tell y'all we sat in silence again. But this time, y'all, it was like for before I said anything, it probably was about a good like 20 minutes, not like no bullshit, y'all. So I just came out of nowhere because at this point, obviously, I'm over it, you over it, we both over it. So, like, can I go home? So I asked him, I'm like, is you taking me back to campus? Like, and he like, yeah, I'm just waiting on my mans to get back with the car, blah, 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 blah. So, child, we done sat in the room for a whole nother 30 minutes in silence. Like, when I say, not a not a noise not a not a peep <laughs> okay like you can you can hear the flies buzzing you can hear the bees buzzing like it mm. so after that he, the friend come or whatever we get in the car and child this man is so mad he's so mad that he is be into campus like he had to have the foot to the fucking floor like that man would be into campus like he was like I'm ready to drop this bitch off okay so he hit this one corner y'all I almost flew out the freaking door like I didn't realize that my door was open but since he was so mad and angry and fast and furious and he bit the corner as if he ready to slide on somebody's ops 
I almost flew out the freaking door and this man had to grab me and pull me back in y'all this was like so crazy this was like the most embarrassing thing I've ever like went like cuz like wait mm. anyway so he dropped me off on campus or whatever the case may be and then after that he unfollowed me off of Twitter unfollowed me off of Instagram he blocked me and he stopped speaking to me <laughs> he stopped speaking to me when he seen me and it just was mad awkward because we all hung around the same people so yeah y'all that's the story time about how niggas wanted to play truth or dare for the panties <laughs> Fans. but yeah y'all um i hope y'all enjoyed the story time i will be coming with you guys coming to you guys with another freaking story time soon so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe run the views up repost and i will see you guys in the next video